All right, folks, we're off. I'm just leaving the uh, place that I've staged at here in White Bear Lake, and I'm about to take off. I've got uh, 250 miles to go today to White, up to Grand Marais from White Bear Lake, and uh, I usually stop for lunch in two harbors, roughly halfway, not quite, a little bit more than half. It takes me, oh, five and a half hours or so. Weather is a little bit rainy. Not raining currently, but it's been kind of raining off and on through the night. So we're kind of wet, dreary, cloudy, gray. We've had a lot of smoke from the fires up in Canada. I'm not sure how that's going to affect my trip. Well, it's going to affect the trip because I already found out that there are no, no campfires with wood. My old fire ring is going to get a workout on this trip. Uh, it is allowed to use propane and hopefully the truck, trailer, all equipment will work as it should. I've been through checklist after checklist after checklist. I think I got everything. When you go off on three week trip, you got to make sure you got everything. So invariably I've forgotten a few things, but usually it's when I haven't included it on the checklist. Sometimes that can be a problem. I'm hoping that there's supposed to be some sun later this afternoon. So maybe that'll get more pleasant as we get up towards Duluth. I did check to see if it had rained much in the areas where the fires are around Nipigon, and it didn't appear to have rained enough to put those fires out. So that was disappointing. Camera's working. My rearward uh, camera back on the boat gives me a view behind, which is nice uh, so I can see when semis are approaching or any cars coming up behind me. The only drawback to it is it's wide angle, so you don't get a true perspective of, of depth or distance. Uh, we take 35E, Interstate 35E north from uh, White Bear Lake to Duluth, and then from Duluth it's Highway 61 up the uh, shore. Planning to meet with the folks up there for uh, 3 p.m. coffee and, uh, and then dinner in the evening, so it should be a fun time. I always enjoy visiting up there. so. Hopefully the traffic will be reasonable today. Uh, I hate being passed all the time, but it's inevitable when you'd only drive 60 in a 70 mile an hour zone. But I find that it's just not efficient for me to uh, drive any faster. Glad to be off. You know, it's been a, you know, it takes me about a month planning to prepare for one of these longer trips. One of the things I have to do is uh, revise my checklist each time, although there's not much change. I change the meal uh, planning occasionally a little bit, and then I need to look at quantities and then prepare all the food. Everything is pretty much, uh, except for fresh meat, uh, things like spaghetti sauces, chilies, beef stroganoff, stuff like that, I all uh, cook in advance pre-package in little half pint jars, put it in the freezer in a special bag for the trip and keep uh, checking off the items as I go. Uh, and it takes me about a month to get that all done. Make contact with the places I plan to launch from, uh, make sure that I the ramp is adequate, uh, what the costs are, where I'm going to park. When you're out for three weeks, you need to have a reasonably secure place. And I also have a heavy enough boat and that I need to make sure the ramp is adequate. And all those things were checked off. They, uh, I was able to actually look at a video. There was somebody that made a video of the, of the harbor. It's called High Hill Harbor on the east side of Nipigon. And that gave me a real good idea of what the ramp was, the docks, parking, what's available in terms of uh, you know showers, restrooms, things like that. And everything looks fine. Uh, I took, contacted the city that manages that park, or that marina, I should say. She told me what the costs were going to be, uh, which is reasonable. The other thing you need to have if you're going to be uh, tying to shore, if you're anchoring all the time, it's not a you don't need a permit. But anytime you tie to shore, you got to have a camping permit. And uh, so I had to check that out, find out what the regulations were, what's required, you know, when it, when I don't re require it. And unfortunately, they don't allow you to pick your nights uh, 
it's just a period of time that you have to pay for. And it's about ten dollars Canadian or something roughly like that. Uh, I think for the 19 days I'll be on the water, it came out to about 150 bucks U.S. So I didn't have a choice. I had to go ahead and uh, apply for the full period because I have no idea when I can tie to shore, when I'll have to anchor. I have to play that all by ear. But I think we're all set, and I'm gonna sign off here, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Talk to you soon. Coming into Grand Marais here, it's been a, a long drive, about 250 miles from White Bear Lake. I left about 9, 9 a.m., plus or minus a few. It's now approaching 2.30 or a little after. Still a little bit hazy from the smoke. The temperature's uh, pretty good. It actually warmed up. It went up, it was 64, now it's 73. But I think if we go down to the harbor, it's gonna be about 64 again. Not sure what all the construction is, but uh, yeah, it looks like the main road I was gonna go up is closed. That's not good. So we'll go down this way and see what we can find. There's the harbor. There's always something. The phone went dead. Uh, now let's see if I can get my fuel at the gas station here. If it's too busy at the one station, I may have to go to the other. So. so we'll go in here for gas. Good morning, folks. I'm just heading out at 6.50, heading to Lake Nipigon today. Just heading down the hill, looking down on the harbor. Got up at about 4.30 this morning, a little early. But I slept reasonably well, considering it was first night on the boat. And there's a the lighthouse and the calm seas today. And a lot of that haze is not fog, it's just smoke from Canada coming down into this country. So right now I'm just uh, beginning the start of the day. Bright, shining sun this morning. Enjoyed my breakfast and study time. I should get up to the lake there about, uh, well, it should be 11 local time here, but uh, Eastern time it'll be noon. Well, then I forgot to adjust my mirrors. I always forget to adjust my mirrors. I'm too late for that. We'll do it next stop, so. But you've seen on my uh, trip to Superior last year, a lot of this country, so I'm not going to uh, show it to you again. Anyway, that's enough for now. We'll talk to you folks later. Well, thought I'd shoot a few shots of the lake this morning. It looks kind of unique with a, kind of a low fog hanging over that calm water. All right, we're coming up on the border here. And uh, sounds like they're doing a little bridge work. So there could be some delays on the weekends, they said. But since this is Monday, it shouldn't be too bad. We'll see. Got a good view of the lake there this morning with the sun shining off the water. Got a problem with the transmission of the truck. It's not shifting properly. I'm not gonna stop yet. Uh, for some reason, when it shifts uh, up, it, it, it drops. It shows an indicator uh, that it drops into first gear. Well, obviously it's not doing that, but uh, there's some anomaly there and I don't quite understand it. We'll just hope that it'll get me up to the water and uh, start it on this trip. Always apprehensive whenever I cross the border. You always hope it's uh, gonna go smoothly. Looks like there's a automatic stoplight that works. So they must have just one lane for crossing the bridge. Yeah, there's 
definitely some something wrong with the transmission. Good morning. You know your truck plate number off my heart? No, I don't. Here's a Nexus card on top of the passport. So. Give me one or the other, not both. Which okay. one do you want? Whichever one you Here we go. Okay. Where are you heading to? Lake Nipigon. What's going on in Nipigon? Yeah, I'm going to go up and do some camping for three weeks. Three weeks? On How much the alcohol is on board? Got uh, 18 beers, two bottles of wine. Tobacco product? No tobacco. Is there a firearm or weapon with you? No weapons, no firearms. Are there any prohibited goods like a mace? No. Pepper spray? Did you bring your handgun with you? No, no a stun gun on board? No. Anything with you today you're leaving? Selling or giving away while you're in Canada? No. What that kind of live bait you bringing up? None. Any firewood? No firewood. Any cannabis or cannabis products of any kind? No. When you're camping, you're staying in the boat? Staying in the boat. The boat's going to go back home with you? Yes, it is. Okay, when you get a chance, sign your passport. Thank you for okay. reminding me. Didn't real. Yeah, thank you. see both the Nexus and the Passport. Lots of questions today. A little surprised. I stopped restarted the engine hoping that would clear up the transmission but it didn't do that. So I don't know if it's an electronic glitch or what it is. So Lord I just hope we are able to get home again. All right, folks, we're off. I was going to stay overnight, but uh, since we paid up, I decided to go ahead and take off. So we're heading out to harbor. And I hope this works out.
Getting now my vest uh, clamped. I forgot to get the autopilot out. I'll need to go get it. Uh, this is a leg I'll need it on. But I don't want to try to mess with that right now with the autopilot. That was a little tricky. with this autopilot seems to be doing a little better right now but well I don't know what's going on it's oversteering so I may have to set it back to where it was yeah well, we'll just leave it there for a while and see what happens but glasses out here close that door for protection and then see where we go when we get over here but well I think we're doing okay seems to be doing okay steering now but all right what do we got it's aiming about right probably should go a little more to the left well we we're lucky here to, to have uh, calm seas tonight see if I can see my other camera here so much stuff to do with it all right well we'll go ahead and turn the cameras off Come on. coming into the anchorage here using the autopilot so far it's been working fine I got one more uh, 
rock I got to watch out for though coming around this corner into the anchorage just need to make sure I don't cut the corner looks like it's visible anyway so I think I can see it over there well it should probably just disconnect the autopilot steer by hand going in here just in case I need to turn quick not real confident of this thing I see there is a rock there I got to be careful about so I'll swing wide I've gone 10 miles should be good anchorage uh, not sure there's going to be any tie up probably not we'll just slow down here no sense hurrying in case the water comes up quick well we'll see what we have in here you know it, it may be just anchoring overnight uh, no tie up to shore rocks I thought maybe there might be some kayaks out there but it's just rocks if I can see southeast wind this would be exposed some islands there but it wouldn't break the waves up enough to help but it'll do for tonight 27 feet there is uh, you know potential to tie up to shore but uh, I don't think there's a need to do that bugs some kind of gnat hovering around all right let's get shallow fast we're coming up 15 feet 12 feet 15 back to well it's still 12 feet there's a little peak there came up to less than 10 bugs all over the place I don't know what they are I don't think they're anything nasty I think they're just fish bugs of some kind all right eight feet how far do we want to go in here exposed to the southeast eight feet yeah we'll let it coast and get right up in here see how deep it, or shallow it gets looks like about an eight feet level and pretty flat bottom it doesn't look rocky looks like just mud all right we're getting in there about where I'm gonna have to drop an anchor here pretty quick so about even so I think I'll sink sink it down had about I think I'll put 40 feet out that should be plenty it's eight feet so it's probably enough with this wind I mean I can always put out more it's, I can see the bottom it's pretty shallow here right now so I don't think we're gonna have any issues but we'll back down anyway get it sink no brush or anything so I don't think I need to put floating buoy out which I haven't anyway so kind of a moot point all right there we go it's holding good well is it took a while to grab but I think it's now it's holding well maybe not no nope. well I can't tell if it's dragging or not yeah there's a rock behind me here so I got to be careful it's only seven feet yeah let me see if I can figure out if it's dragging it seems like it's holding I can't feel it bumping along the bottom so I think 40 feet is good exposed to the southeast though so we'll see how to make sure that there's no southeast winds tonight. No, I think it's holding. That's good. So there we are folks first anchorage on Nipigon and there's a rock right behind me looks like if I hit went back too far I would, I would hit it better not we're at seven feet 
And I'll turn that camera off because it's not serving its purpose anymore. And I don't know what else to add. I guess we're anchored for the night. I'm hungry, I'm tired. It's always a stressful thing doing the launch and uh, getting underway and trying to remember the thousand things that I need to do, especially when you're trying to film. Okay, I'll leave the depth on and I'll leave the chart on for now because I want to make sure I'm not moving. So we'll unhook this, which has that camera up there. I'll take that down and start putting things away. And then give a signal to our friends that are tracking us. Let them know we're safe. Yeah, I went to put this uh, pole cam in the, the vertical and the thing is loose. It was flipping around on me, so I had to use a different mount. Now, I don't know if this is turned off or not. All right, that's off now. Put that inside, chase the bugs away. Put the camera in the charger, start charging everything up so it's ready for the next time. Boy, am I tired. Wow. I go open this forward screen, get a little ventilation through here. Take my vest off. Mm -hmm.